Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to another Disney media review. So today we are reviewing uh, Disney's Silly Symphony, The Pied Piper. So how, if you guys are new to my channel, you don't know how this works. I take the IMDB stuff first and I read that to you guys and then I tell you kind of how I felt about it and let you know how I rated uh, the short myself. So let's get into it. IMDB rating 6.7 out of 10 stars, runtime 8 minutes, plot summary 1. When the Pied Piper lures the rats from ha Hamelin Town, but it's not paid in gold by the mayor as promised, he lures all the children of the town to the magical garden of happiness in a, in a mountain to punish the parents. Plot summary 2. The people of Hamelin, overrun with rats, uh, offer a bag of gold to anyone who can get rid of them. A piper offers to do the job and success successfully lures the rats into a mirage of cheese, which disappears. The citizens, disappointed that all he did was play a tune, offer only pocket change. The piper, angered, plays a new tune that has all the children of the city follow him, even the new twins the stork is preparing to deliver. So I gave this short a 7.4 out of 10 stars. I thought it was actually really good. It was one of the better Silly Symphonies that I have watched, just unfortunately it still wasn't one of my favorite Silly Symphonies. And let me tell you why, because I did write some notes down. The town reminds me of Pinocchio. It looked like the German village in Pinocchio, which was really cute. Okay, have you guys ever noticed that cartoon food always looks better than real life food? Like I know that's why people like Binging with Babish and Feast of Fiction exist because they actually make this food. But have you ever noticed just that cartoon food looks a lot tastier than our food? I'm just saying. The animation is definitely uh, different from the previous uh, Silly Symphonies I have watched, which isn't a bad thing. It just kind of shows the development of Disney's animation and how far they've come since Steamboat Willie, you know? So there was a scene where the rats were stripping the sausage of its casing, and I have found so many phallic symbols in some of these silly symphonies that that one just really stood out to me it's like oh i wonder what that's supposed to represent mm -hmm. so the mice were blowing raspberries at the the citizens off the balcony you, you know they were going and it kind of reminded me the the balcony itself where the mice were reminded me of when cinderella got married to the prince and they were throwing down the rice that's kind of what it looked like to me minus the raspberries <laughs> there's lots of hidden mickeys when the rats kind of turned around to follow the Pied Piper, they looked, they had like little Mickey ears and they had the Mickey head. And then when they went into the, the mirage of cheese, there was like little hidden Mickeys inside of there too. So the children, the animation of the children of how they looked was very similar, if not the same, as Han Hansel and Gretel in Babes in the Woods. And again, I think that's just because, you know, that's how they were drawn. The adults just looked different. I personally believe that the Pied Piper was actually in the right to take the kids. And it's not to say that, because I mean, what the Pied Piper says, I'm not saying this for verbatim, but what the Pied Piper essentially said was, I don't want your kids to grow up learning this greed, this, it was something like this greed or this atrocity or something like that. I don't want your children growing up learning these morals. I'm going to take them away and give them a better life where they can learn better teachings and be better people. That was essentially what he was saying. So I feel like the Pied Piper actually did the town a favor, or not the town a favor, but did the kids a favor in taking them away from the town. And he even took a dog. I mean, seriously. Like, I think this guy's trying to give them just a better life. There was this kid on crutches. Poor kid was falling behind, and he was just trying to catch up and catch up. But the second he got to that mountain, that sugary, beautiful, you know, land, town, whatever it was, he didn't need them anymore. He literally threw them to the Pied Piper and started walking on his own. It was amazing. It looked like, okay, so the, the land that they were in, I, it was like a Candyland type place. It looked like Pleasure Island. So I'm kind of sitting there waiting for the kids to turn into donkeys because it looked like Pleasure Island. So like I said, this short was actually a better one out of the Silly Symphonies. It still, you know, isn't at the top of my list, but it was still a really good Silly Symphony. I highly recommend watching it for yourself and, you know, get it, giving your own opinion towards this, this uh, short. But anyways, I thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.